All right, all right, uh, Shalom, Makim. Uh, first and foremost, I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Recha Kwadash. All right, I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone with Ruwa. And I want to give uh, peace, greetings, and salutations to all the Lekakim that's pushing, that's pushing this word and uh, truth and sincerity, you know, throughout the four corners of the earth. You know, and the brothers that's not wavering in the faith, you know, being diligent in his truth. You know, I say shalom to you, brothers, you know, and I say shalom, you know, to the few sisters that believe in all meekness and humbleness. You know, I say shalom, you know, uh, I'm your brother Zakaria from GMS Miami Camp. And Lord willing, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Recha Kodash, you know, Adawan uh, Rataza, you know, that means Lord willing, Lord willing, you know, so Lord willing, this lesson is edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel, you know. In my lesson today, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Recha Kodash, it's going to be basing on men love darkness rather than light, all right? Majority of our people, all right? of the nation of Israel, which the nation of Israel consists of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right? And also the Israelite foreigners that scattered amongst the nations, that lineage go back to the 12 tribes according to their fathers, all right? We are the true Hebrew Israelites that the Bible speaks of, man. All right, but majority of our people, all right, they love the ways of wickedness. They love the ways of darkness rather than the ways of light, which is the ways of righteousness, which is the ways of Yahweh Bashim al all right? And those... Um, not believing on the Heavenly Father through His Son Yahweh Shai, they're condemned. All right, which the Most High Yahweh Bashim put put a, a put a spirit on them to behave that way, so ultimately He can destroy them. All right, so this is book. Of, so I'm gonna just roll through the Spirit, Lord, when it's edifying to you. Let, this is book of John, chapter three, verse eighteen. It says, "He that believeth on Him is not condemned." Believing on who? Our Lord Yahweh Shai. All right. All right. Who the world eagerly called Jesus Christ. Yahweh Shah means in the Paleo Hebrew, the Lashuan Kadash means he savior, he deliver. All right. You got to believe on the Heavenly Father. His name is Yahweh. Bahashem, meaning Ba in Ha the Sham name. All right. Our Lord Yahweh Shah. And the Heavenly Father's name is Yahweh. Yahweh means he is or he, he, he is, he is this. All right, that, that's the, the name of the Heavenly Father, who the word actually called God. All right, Yahweh. All right, so he that believeth on him is not condemned. So if you believe on, on the Heavenly Father through his son Yahweh, you're not condemned. All right, but he that believeth not is, is condemned already. So if you don't believe on our Lord Yahweh, you're condemned already. All right, you have no cloak for your sins. All right, you have no. Uh, mediator, all right. You don't have nobody to represent for you, all right. You're not covered by our Lord Yahweh Shah's blood, all right. So you're gonna die in your sins, man. All right. You're gonna die, all right, in your iniquities, cause your cause your iniquity is not gonna be um uh forgiven, man. All right. He says because he have not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of the Most High. So you gotta believe on our Lord Yahweh Shah. All right, John chapter, bear with me. John chapter 14. In verse 6, it says, John chapter 14, verse 6, he says, Yahweh, I'm slacking, Yahweh shy, all right, said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father. But by me, so Yahweh Shai is the way. He's the truth and he's the life. All right, you can't get to the most high unless you go through him. All right. You have to go through our Lord Yahweh Shai. You got to believe on his words as the scripture has said. All right. You got to believe as the scripture has said. All right. Being broken down, you know, by the true teachers, which are our which are our our apostles and elders of Great Billstone, man. All right. Our teachers, man, the ones who told us the correct doctrine, all right, the the hundred percent truth. All right. Let's read again. John chapter 14, verse 6. Yahweh said unto him, red letter, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father, cometh unto the Father, but by me. So you gotta go through our Lord Yahweh. He's the only way. All right. All right, he's the only way. So if you don't believe in him, you condemn. All right. 
you could you could dim it already because what the Lord said. Uh, got a couple precepts. Bear with me. Yep, Deuteronomy eighteen. Deuteronomy 18 and verse 15, it says, The Lord thy power raise up unto thee a prophet, who is that our Lord Yahweh, from the midst of thee, of thy brethren, like unto thee, unto him ye shall hearken. So you're supposed to hearken unto the words of our Lord Yahweh, man. Um, Moses. Moses. Uh, there he says, Here. Ye him, my son, whom I'm well pleased. This is book of Matthew, chapter 17. Or is I Elijah? So, like, I thought it was Samuel. This is book of um, Matthew, chapter 17, verse 1. It says, And after six days, Yahweh shot, taketh Peter, James, and John, his brother, and bringeth them unto unto a high mountain apart and was transfigured before them and his face did shine as the sun and his remnant was white so his remnant was white as the light and behold there appeared unto them Moses and Elias, Elias which is Elijah talking with him talking with Yahweh Shah verse 4 then Pete then answered Peter and said unto Yahweh Shah Lord it is good for us to be here. If thou wilt, let us make here three tabernacles, one for thee and one for Moses and one for Elijah. Verse five. While he yet spake, behold, a bright cloud overshadowed them. This is this is the all right, a chariot, a huge chariot. All right. And behold, a voice out of the cloud which said, this is my beloved son, is our Lord. This is the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, in whom I am well pleased. Hear ye him. So, so the Heavenly Father was telling Peter, all right, James, Peter, James, and John, that hear our Lord, Yahweh, shy man, which Moses represent what the uh, the law and Elijah the prophets, man. So you got to hear on our Lord Yahweh Shai. All right. It says, and when the disciples heard it, they fell on their faith and were so afraid. All right. So you got to hear our Lord Yahweh Shai. So those who ain't hearing our Lord Yahweh Shai, you're condemned. You know, just to bring that point out, Lord wins edifying. John chapter 3 in verse uh, 18 again says, He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth, so like, but he that believes is not is condemned already. Because you the Heavenly Father told us to hear our Lord Yahweh Shai, man. Because he have not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of the Most High. Verse 19. And this is a condemnation that light is coming to the world. All right. Which, which our Lord Yahweh Shai, he was the light. All right. He was uh, the word made flesh. All right. And now what? The Lord said, ye are the light of the world. Bear with me. We have the light. All right. Uh, Matthew 5 and 14. Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. All right. So we're, we're the light of the world because we have this truth. All right. Uh, what is... Uh, Okay, what is it? Um, so like it. Isaiah 60. Isaiah 60, yep. Isaiah chapter 60, verse 1, it says, Arise, shine, for thy light is come in the glory of the Most High. So like, in the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. So the light is upon us, man. For behold, darkness shall cover the earth and grow dark and gross darkness the people. But the Lord shall arise upon upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. So the Lord has this light upon us, man. Shepherd says, uh, Baruch 4, I believe. 
brother Ramak brought this out yesterday. This is uh, Baruch chapter 4 verse 1 says, This is the book of the law. So this is the book of the commandments of the Most High and the law that endure forever. All they that keep it shall come to life, but such as leave it shall die. Turn, and turn thee, O Jacob, and take hold of it. Walk in the presence of the light thereof, that thou mayest be illuminated. All right? Are right, we being illuminated by this truth? All right? This, that light. But men... Love darkness rather than light. Isaiah chapter 8 verse 20. To, to the law and to the testimony. If they speak not according to this word. It is because there is no light in them. Alright. Ephesians 5. And I'm just rolling through the spirit. Lord must edify. Ephesians chapter 5. In verse. chapter 5 verse 13 it says but all things that are reproved are made manifest by the light for whatsoever doth make manifest is light verse 14 wherefore he said await thou that sleepest and arise from the dead and Hamashiach shall give thee light so that our Lord Yahushua all right has given us this wisdom knowledge understanding all right he was a light and what he gave us this understanding now what now we're illuminated through the spirit and power of the how about you, All right, by the laying on the hills, by the laying on the hands of the presbytery, the body of elders. All right, John three chapter, John chapter three verse nineteen, and this is the condemnation, that light is coming to the world, and men love darkness rather than light, because their deeds were evil. All right, so they like, they love darkness rather than light. We just read that girls darkness the people. All right. Because the earth is given to the hand of the wicked And men, they love darkness Alright, because their Their deeds are evil Ship said, ye are your father the devil Alright And our people walk as, After the ways of the heathen So they're going to be ju judged as the heathen Ship said, though hand join the hand The wicked shall not be, go on punishment All that is joined on to and shall be Thrust through, alright Verse 20, for everyone that Doeth evil, hateth the light Neither come into the light, lest their deeds should be reproved. All right. So everyone that that do evil hated the light, because what good is said against evil? All right. Let me just get this real quick. I'm gonna get out. What would I remember? Good is said against evil in um custom custom uh, evil good. Bear with me. Spots. Yep, this is um, Jeremiah thirteen and uh, twenty three. Can the Ethiopian change his skin? Talking about Cushites, all right. They can't change their skin. They're dark skinned people. Or the leopard, his spots. A leopard. The Lord made a leopard have spots. He can't change it. He can't have a stripes like tigers. All right. It says, then may ye also do good that are accustomed to do evil. Just how those Ethiopian can't change his skin or leopards his spots. All right. Likewise, uh, then ye that also do good are accustomed to do evil. So the person that is accustomed to do evil, he's not going to do good because that's his because the Lord put it in the spirit to be that way. And the majority of these people, they love darkness and they hate the light. All right. They're wicked, all right? It's like two, two and two. Two and two. Oh, maybe I should have put it. Bear with me, I can't. Let's rock. It's rock 33 in verse uh, 14. It says, Good is set against evil, life against death. So is the godly against the sinner, and the sinner against the godly. So, so look upon all the works of the Most High. There are two in two, one against another. So, good is set against evil. All right. So those who are 
of the elect is going to be the good, going to be the righteous. All right, they're going to they're going to come into the light. But those who are wicked, they're going to be all right. The evil, they're going to be accustomed to doing evil. They're going to love the light. I mean, they're going to love the darkness because they hate the light, man. John chapter three, verse 20. It says, for everyone that doeth evil. It's like it. John chapter three, verse 20. Close out in a little bit. I started verse 19 again. John 3 and 19 says, and this is the condemnation that light is coming to the world. And men love, love darkness rather than light. Because they're. Deeds were evil. Yeah, we teach the word like repent, come back to the Lord. All right, they refuse to come to the light. They love darkness because what their deeds are evil. Their way, their spirit. All right, their their conversations. All right, their conduct. All right. Verse twenty four. Everyone that doeth evil hateth the light. Neither come into the light, lest their deeds be reproved or exposed. And people, that's a good thing that uh, if you wicked. I mean, if you were as wicked and somebody reprove you and tell you where you're going off, then you change, man. All right. All right. The, the, the heavens rejoice when the sinner turns to righteousness. You no. Know? All right. When a man repent. All right. You save a soul from death. I uncover a multitude of sins. But our people, they don't like to be reproved. They don't like to be tell. Hey, right, stop worshiping idols. All right. Stop being a mo. All right. Stop being a fucking murderer, adulterer, man. Because their deeds were evil, man. Verse 21. It says, But he that doeth truth cometh to the light, and his deeds so that his deeds may be made manifest, which are wrought in the most high, man. Alright. Alright, let's read in the NIV. But whosoever lives, so lives by the truth, comes into the light. So you live by you're gonna come to the light. You going like all right. This is the way, as the scripture said, this is the way walk ye in it. All right. So that it may be plainly seen that what they have done has been done in the sight of the most high, man. All right. So, you know, it's just a quick lesson. All right. Men love darkness rather than light. All right. And what the righteous gonna come to the light, man. All right. The elect is gonna come to the Lord. Because the Lord's going to put it in their spirit to come to him, man. But the wicked, they're going to stay in their wicked deeds and they're going to be destroyed, man. Because they believe it not on Yahweh Bashim al -Shai. You know, so Lord, one in this lesson was edifying to the elect of the nation Israel. You know, I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rechach Kodash. I want to give double honor to my apostles and elders at Great, Mill, at Great Millstone, which rule well. And I want to give up peace, greetings, and salutations to so all the Lagakim. That's pushing his word and truth and sincerity. Hey, Shalom, Mike, keep pushing, keep it doing. Shalom.